No, no, it's not planned. Certainly, it, it's not planned by us. Um, I mean, he came here to... Authorities charged Sean Diddy Combs with sex trafficking, racketeering conspiracy, and more following a months-long investigation against the rapper. Combs was arrested Monday by federal agents based on a sealed indictment, the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York confirmed. The rapper was charged with racketeering conspiracy, sex trafficking by force fraud or coercion and transportation to engage in prostitution in the indictment unsealed Tuesday. His spirits are good. He's competent, Diddy's attorney Mark Agnifilo said outside the courthouse Tuesday morning. He is dealing with this head-on, the way he's dealt with every challenge in his life. And he's not guilty. He's innocent of these charges. He's going to plead not guilty, obviously. He's going to fight this with all of his energy and all of his might and the full confidence of his lawyers. And I expect a long battle with a good result for Mr. Combs. I'm going to fight like hell to get him released, and he should be released, Agni said. No, no, it's not planned. Certainly, it, it's not planned by us. Um, I mean, he came here to, to surrender uh, at a time agreeable to the U.S. Attorney's Office, and then they, they arrested him last night. Um, I spent, I spent the, the evening with him. I was with him until about 1 o'clock. His spirits are good. He's confident. Um, he is dealing with this head-on, the way he's dealt with every challenge in his life. With all that he's done and coming here voluntarily. The I'll Be Missing You singer was arrested in a New York City hotel lobby, a source familiar with the matter told Fox News Digital. Diddy's legal team slammed the charges as an unjust prosecution in a statement shared with Fox News Digital. Sean Diddy Combs is a music icon, self-made entrepreneur, loving family man, and proven philanthropist who has spent the last 30 years building an empire, adoring his children, and working to uplift the black community. He is an imperfect person, but he is not a criminal, Mark Agnifilo, Combs' lawyer said in a statement. To his credit Mr. Combs has been nothing but cooperative with this investigation and he voluntarily relocated to New York last week in anticipation of these charges, the statement continued. Please reserve your judgment until you have all the facts. These are the acts of an innocent man with nothing to hide and he looks forward to clearing his name in court. Homeland Security agents raided Combs' homes in Los Angeles and Miami in connection to a federal human trafficking investigation on March 25, officials confirmed to Fox News Digital at the time. Diddy faces a mountain of legal claims after multiple women accused him of sexual assault, beginning in November 2023. Cassie, legally known as Cassandra Ventura, alleged she endured over a decade of Diddy's violent behavior and disturbed demands in a lawsuit. Combs and his ex-girlfriend settled the matter a day later outside of court. Three more women came forward with claims just before New York's Adult Survivors Act expired in December. Diddy was also sued by music producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones in February. Jones accused the rapper of forcing him to perform sexual acts with prostitutes in his lawsuit obtained by Fox News Digital. He faces a handful of additional sexual abuse lawsuits, all of which he has denied. Amid his legal troubles, Diddy stepped down as chairman of his cable network, Revolt, in November. This decision helps to ensure that Revolt remains steadfastly focused on our mission to create meaningful content for the culture and amplify the voices of all black people throughout this country and African diaspora, the network said in a statement.